How's your day going? Look at this, look at this. It's midweek over up in here. And I'm hoping that you've had a fantastic week so far. As playful as we would want to do uh, and be all day, the next 30 minutes is going to be really serious. And I hope you buckled up for that. My name is Prosper Taruvinga. And in case this is your first time watching this, it's all good. You are not lost. You're in the right place. I basically help coaches, consultants, and CEOs of online companies to actually market, scale, and brand their businesses so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I just noticed Christopher Logan just tuned in. Thank you so much, man. I haven't seen you around. All right, so basically my job is really, really simple. I show up every single day at 2 p.m. AEST so that I can help you um, maybe earn more money within your business while you're having less struggle. I also noticed that Paul Harris has just tuned in. Thank you so much, brother. All right, and in the process, I get to teach a four-step you know, simple pro process that helps um, people that I'm working with to actually generate leads every single month with predictability and with really, really less struggle. So maybe I've got a question for you if you're watching right now, or if you're going to be watching, um, you know, a little bit later on. Where are you tuning in from? Just so that we know what the coverage um, is all up. What city are you right about now? Okay. Um, Christopher says, I've been putting your advice to work. Oh, that's really good to hear. It's, it's amazing when, you know, we, we're putting out content out there and it's actually being implemented. Because 99% of the people just watch, just get motivated, and then go back to doing the same thing over and over again. So at the end of the day, it's one of those things that you really want to make sure that what you hear, you implement. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. If it does resonate, just try it. You know why? Because we've got a long way to go. I'll be explaining to you what's going on. Paul Harris, Gold Coast. You guys have the best weather in... Um, in Australia and we're technically neighbors so thank you so much for tuning in today now right I've got a question for you if you're actually watching this right now how many times have you asked yourself how do I get more customers all right isn't that what everybody else is really trying to do every single day when they're online or on social media trying to get new customers can you just type in in the comments there what sort of methods you use to get new customers all right because I know one thing for sure, the goal of every marketer, like yourself, Chris, like yourself, Paul, is to really be in front of your customers whenever you can. But have you realized that customers now have their phones 24-7, all right? I'll give you, a, I'll paint you a picture a little bit. Before, say, the last five years or so, Families used to have what is called a computer room and in that computer room there'll be a fax, in that computer room there'll be a phone, in that computer room there'll be the one phone, um, computer that's hooked up to the internet which is usually dial up and I think if you really, really, really go back all the way back you'd hear the sound or whatever the mating call, you know, uh, eight DSL used to do, and, and you would know that the computer has been fired up, and you would know that the computer is ready um, to start taking, um, you know, orders, or, you know, for you to start Googling. It was Yahoo back then. Right. Have you noticed that all of that has changed? The customer that was at that time, all right, has moved on to the person who's watching this video right now on their mobile. All right. So what does that mean for you as a marketer or for you as a business person? You also have to be in their hands because out of sight, out of mind. All right. So what are you doing to be around your customers so that they know you exist? What are you doing to ensure that they know you to call you for when they need you? What are you doing for your customers to make sure that they realize that no matter where they go, you are always going to be there? Now, the reason why a lot of people are failing in business is because they are still marketing as if they're marketing in 1991. Okay? In 1991, you could just put up a post or you could just buy, you know, an ad from the newspaper, set and forget, whoever sees it, then they respond back to you. 
Right now, the appetite for content for our customers has grown immensely. Right now, the appetite of, you know, you know, stimulation for our customers has grown immensely. What are you doing in regards to figuring out how can you be top of mind every single time for when your customers are searching? It's no longer enough to be found on Google or when people are, are, are searching and through SEO. That's no longer enough. What are you doing when your customer is transiting from, you know, one meeting to another or from workplace to, 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 to their lunch spot? What are you doing to fill in that gap that they, you know, they, they need so much so that they are, um, you know, um, what do you call it? So that they, they are constantly motivated. What are you doing to fill in that spot? Keeping the curiosity going and being consistent on Facebook with my post. Um, the hope that one day when they're trying to kick a health goal, they will think of me. That's absolutely right, uh, Paul. Because at the end of the day, your customers may not be ready today when you put out a, a status update. But does that mean they are not going to be ready in six months? Does that mean they're not going to be ready in two years? Does that mean they're not going to be ready in nine months? All right, but are they not your customer then? So I think we really need to reconsider and refocus our strategies. All right, and the best thing about it is we all have the opportunity to be in front of our customers when we can. But the, 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 the biggest question is, are you the right person for it? Are you going to be there for your customers? Because your customers right now, they're being stimulated by somebody else. They're being, um, you know, exposed to somebody else's content. All right. You are not helping them with the little day to day struggles that they're going through. Why do you think they would reciprocate to you on the day that you say, OK, guys, I've got this offer. You were never there in their lives. So why are you important today? And what makes you think you can just step up and take their money? Today's customer is so savvy in as much as before you even reach them, they already know who you are. They already know who, who, what you did three years ago, three days ago. So this is now the part where you've got to clean up your act. Monkey see, monkey do. That's the way it's now supposed to be. All right. Because if you're just showing up just for the sale, nobody's going to give you any attention. You're right. Nobody is going to give you any attention. If you're just going to show up in the form of an ad, nobody's going to want to know a bar of you. People need to see your stuff at least six to eight times so that they can justify working with you. And as we all know, people like doing business with those that they know, like and trust. So what are you doing to get in front of your customers when they are not searching particularly for your product? Yeah. And Paul says, I'm all about building relationships. Building relationships is where it is now. Building relationships because the more influence you have, the more impact you have. The more impact you have, the more income you have. All right. So, Paul, you're right on the money right there. And, you know, I mean, today, obviously, it's a really, really sad day the world over. Um, you would know by now that uh, Louise Hay um, has, left, has left us, okay, and God uh, rest her soul. Um, you would understand that she has left a legacy. She has left content. She has left books. She has left interviews. She has left all that stuff that helped build up her legacy. All right. What we're not actually realizing is we have so much to give than we're giving ourselves credit for. Yesterday, if you follow me, I asked the questions, what can I learn from you? What is it that I can learn from you today in order to make my life better? What can I learn from you today in order for me to have a happier existence? All right. We have so much to give to the people that are following us. We have so much to give to our audience than what we actually think we can. Your life story and your worldly experience can save somebody a lot of money, can save somebody a lot of time, can save somebody a lot of effort. All right. So at the end of the day, what are you doing in order to make sure that people do realize that you're the person that they can know, they can trust and they can want to do business with you?
All right, Paul Harry says, people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. Oh, absolutely right. You are absolutely on the money there, Paul, because right now people have so much access to information. You can never pull wool on people's um, eyes anymore. You know why? Because they know how to get that information. Everything is now figureoutable. Everything is now Googleable. Alright, so all you got to do is just present yourself as the best person that can proffer that information. Alright, so you, if you're not understanding and if you're not the right person to deliver that message for those people, I think you need to take a step back and figure out, am I going to be there for these people 24-7? Because that's where your customer is. People are now glued to their mobile device. People are now glued to look for solutions. Now, are you available? Are you putting out content that, you know, you know, satisfies your customer's content palette every time that they think of it? We now live in an on-demand world, okay? I've got a two-year-old daughter. Um, we were playing uh, ball before. That's why when, when the video started, I was playing this. Um, now she's just been taken by her mom, all right? She would never know the pain of waiting one extra week for another episode of Paw Patrol. She would never know the pain of waiting one week for another episode of Peppa Pig. All right? She just knows that you press a couple of buttons and what she wants is there already. Now, can you imagine how many other people, your customers included, are anticipating that if they want something, they are going to be looking for it, maybe from you or whoever is the first person to give them that information so they can understand it. All right. So I'm talking about tactics of actually getting customers to think of you at the time when, you know, they, they, they're ready to make a purchase. All right. Paul Harris says, be interested, not interesting. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, our customers are now so, you know, content um, hungry in as much as they just want to keep consuming. That's why Netflix is there. Netflix is a content platform that people are consuming content 24-7. All right. So if you're going to create a platform where people can come in because people are coming to the Internet to get information. Now, if you're the person that's providing them with that information, they then get to know you, they then get to trust you, and then they get to, to, to like you. All right? And Jamie says, I have to wait 16 months for the next Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, for real, <clears throat> you know? But right now, you know that it's going to be there, so you're already anticipating it to be there. What are you doing in order to create that you know, vacuum within your customers so that they can understand that you are the person to provide them with that energy. And Paul Harris, thank you so much. I think today we're complimenting each other. That's amazing about it. All right. And also you're talking about my energy. It's, it's something that I realized that if I sat back in my office and then just started telling people I sell SEO, Paul, nobody would have known about me. Nobody would have cared because the next SEO person is that one person who's selling them on the phone every single time and trying to sell it to them in a way that is annoying. All right, so I try to make my job a little bit sexy. I try to make my job a little bit fun. And in the process, I found that I was actually helping other people be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right, so and Savers, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. All right, so you want to know the biggest secret to actually attracting customers and, you know, to your business. The biggest secret is you. You you, Trish, Paul, everybody else, you are the biggest secret to getting customers within your business. All right. The reason why I'm saying this is people buy from people that they know, like and trust. All right. And and what am I guessing? All right. So if you're not the person that is going to deliver and produce that for those people or that content, then somebody else is out there who's doing it for them. You need to figure out what is the audience that you actually really want to serve. All right? You need to figure out what is the audience you really want to serve. And are you going to go all in and really, really give them what they deserve? 
Trish, I hope you're not driving right now because if you are, mm, you're being naughty. All right. So now you really have to embody the person that you want to, to become and you really have to embody the person that you have to deliver that stuff to them. All right. Okay, so, you know, you know, are you delivering on your promise? Are you there for them 24-7 for when they need it? All right? Are you really showing up and caring about them to really, really show them that you can help them by actually helping them? All right? Jamie says, I want to serve their agencies and provide them with amazing SEO that they can stand behind when they provide to their clients. Exactly, but you really got to be there and show them that you're there for them, for their clients, etc., etc. You know? I, the, 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 are you telling them the truth? Because at the end of the day, we are now living in a 24-7 world. They will find out the truth if you lie to them. So are you truthful to who you are and who you are going to be serving and who you are actually going to be giving results for? Because if you're not, guys, I don't want to lie to you guys, you will burn out. And the only reason why people burn out is because they are doing things that are not meant for them. All right? So you really want to make sure that you stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. You really want to focus on the people that you're going to be asking money from. Everybody else is also trying to build their own tribe. Everybody else is also trying to build their own peeps. You want to own your peeps. You want to own your, your tribe and make sure that you are nurturing them for when they're ready or when even if they have already made a purchase from you, they're not going to think of any other supplier. What are you doing to create an environment for them to come around so that they can get whatever information they want? All right. They are the only people that should actually start mattering to you. But do you know who they are? You need to make sure you become the center of their universe and yours too. All right? You really got to be the person that shows them all the good, all the bad, all the ugly. Because if somebody else does, that person will get their credit card. All right? If you really want tactics to get customers, you want to build your business so good that is filled with so much integrity that nothing can move you. All right? When you see your customers on the street, you know, you don't want to hide. You want to actually smile, high five with them, have drinks with them later, etc., etc. Are you capable of doing that with the customers that you have right now? Are you able to hug your customers right now, you know, just because you've offered so much of a good service that all they want and all they really want to do is progress with you as you progress? I mean, obviously, you're not going to have to give them so much of a big hug because then it looks creepy. But are you in that position right now to embrace, um, your, 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 you know, you and have dinner or have a drink with your customers without them worrying that, you know, you're spending their money? Yeah, so that's the stages we've got to start moving towards, guys. That whole, um, you know, put out an advert or you're speaking at them is no longer working. You've got to be speaking with them so that you understand what they need and go back and create it. Otherwise, you're probably just going to be a one-click wonder because the moment you stop serving your customers with what they actually need, that's the moment they're going to go elsewhere. All right, so how are you going to know how you are actually serving the people? What are they saying? Who else are they buying from, etc., etc.? That's how you get customers. And start really, really caring about your people, guys. Start doing and never, ever stop. You've got to totally love them because you know what? They're going to be the people that are affording you that lifestyle that you want. They're going to be the people that are affording you all the holidays that you're after. They're going to be the people that are affording you that college fund that you want for your kids. They're going to be affording you that house on the beach or whatever it is that you want. But you're not going to get it if you are not truthful to the people that you are going to be serving. The appetite for content is getting bigger and bigger and you've got to be filling in all those voids. Even if it's a small thing, a video, anything. 
You never know what aspect of your life might intrigue somebody. It could be your family, it could be your health, it could be the way you sing. You just don't have to show up when you want to make a sale. All right? So, so literally, you, you really got to show your customers you are helping them by actually helping them. Create something that really actually works. Stop tricking people into going onto a landing page when something that doesn't work. You gotta really, really help them. Because if you don't, somebody who's just down, you know, the, the, the news feed is going to do that and you do it for free. Don't just put out a lame attempt in, in trying to create recurring revenue. R deal with the small things and then the money will look after itself later on. You've gotta be real, guys. And it, it all has to come from the heart if you actually want it to work. Because if, if anyone would like to try what I'm doing, they will run short. They wouldn't have the capacity to show up every single day, um, you know, um, every single day for 30 minutes and just because they're copying me. You gotta do what works for you. So figure out what your message is and what market that is going to and then whichever way. All right, whichever media you can use to then deliver that message to that market, that then would be something you work with along the way. A hundred years ago, Coca-Cola came in. What was their message? Open happiness. Who was their market? Anybody else who wanted to be happy? What was the media they used? TV, radio, lorries, posters. hundred years again, they're still there. What is their message? open happiness who trusts them the whole world How, what media are they using now facebook instagram you know maybe snapchat so we are just really getting romantic about the media of how we can reach out our customers but when you do reach them what message are you giving them and who needs to hear it all right, we're now, you really got to figure out you're now living outside the 24-hour box. If you're a fraud, you will be caught out. There's no more hiding. All right, so if you really, really want to make transactions online, the new rules are now that you've got to show up, you've got to care, and you've got to be genuine. All right, so from the start, really build your business in the right way. All this trickery, all this... Hopefully, God, yes, you could have a couple of hundred dollars tomorrow, but that is it for you. Grand opening, grand closing. And you know what the internet is like. Once you have already been labeled as a spammer or somebody who is not worth doing business for, that's it. You're done and, and people will forget you. Now, do you want to, to be living, you know, in a world that you, 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 you are even afraid of your own shadow? If you really want good sleep, guys, just be honest on the internet. Show people you actually care. And, and don't worry about doing it instantly. Look at, um, sorry, I'm going to refer to this again. Louise Hay, she's passed away today, age 91. How old are you right now? I just turned 34. I just turned 34 not so long ago, like last week ago. All right. What does that mean? From 91 to 34 had still 57 more years i haven't even lived the length of the time the distance between my age right now and 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 when she has passed away that's like a lifetime so if you're going to start right now and become a um, a, 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 a cripple you've got so much time left why don't you make the best of it and people are living longer these days. She died at 91 years old, right? Calculate backwards. How much, how much other time do you still have left? Can you imagine if she was a creep or she was a criminal? Would we be celebrating her today? Guys, we got to start being real, you know? You, 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 you really, really, really have to really stop just extracting every dollar from people. You, you need to stop obsessing over funnels. You need, you know, to stop, you know, 18 freaking upsells. You really need to start, stop monetizing whatever movement you've got. You need to start giving and contributing. And people are not going to remember what bank balance you had. 
Right now, how much did Louise Hay make? How much money does she have? People are not going to remember that. People are going to remember how you made them feel. So right now, yes, we, yes, I know, we, we, we really want to, you know, pay bills, we really want to do whatever, um, you know, just to get by, but you still really have a long way to go. <laughs> You've got a lot of time left. Why don't you just maybe start really creating something of substance, something that is willable, that you can will off to the next generation? Yeah? You know, stop, you know, just jumping onto things just because you want that instant gratification. It's not going to work. You're going you're gonna to need to really sit down with your true player and find out, I've got 57 more years to live. What am I going to be doing in that time? I might as well start carving a really good future for me and my kids. When you put it realistically like that, then you would know that whatever, whoever you're going to trick, they will catch up with you at least at some point. 57 years is a long time. All right? If somebody has bought whatever it is that you're, 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 you're selling and they want to cancel, let them go. Just make it easy for them. Don't, don't be that person that people cannot handle. You really want to create friends. You really want to build relationships. Don't burn any bridges. We've got a long way to go, guys, if you really, really look at it. Louise Hay, God rest her soul, she has died at uh, 91 years today. Calculate how much is the difference between your age right now to 91 years and figure out how much longer you still have to live. It's a long haul. Most of you, it's even double or triple. So if you are not going to be truthful to people today, how long are you going to be hiding? You want peace of mind. You want to be happy. Be nice to the other people. Don't just do what you're doing for Instagram. Show your true self. Yeah? Because how you do anything is, 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 is how you do everything. So start really creating good habits. And the more you formulate those habits, the more people are going to adore your lifestyle. And be, before you know it, they're going to knock on your house's door and say, please teach us. Please show us what you're doing. And you make business really simple, very simple. You know, we, 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 we are going out of our way trying to complicate this thing. It's simple. Be yourself, show that you can help people by actually helping them. And then they'll ask you, hey, Prosper, hey, Pamela, hey, John, how did you do that? And then you say, okay, here's something that I, I created. Just copy that and then maybe it works for you. You know? Just have that one thing that you know you could always really, really focus on so that you grow. You've got a long time to leave. Stop rushing things. It takes 21 years to be 21 years old. And when you focus, guys, focus like a mofo, you know? You focus like you've never focused before. All right? And you put out blunders, you, you, you unsubscribe from all those funny marketing lists. You no longer get distracted by shiny objects. You know why? Because everything that works for a limited time, that's anything that is sold for a limited time only, that's as long as it works for a limited time. A webinar can never have a limited time. You can never fill up the internet. So you can't have limited seats in a webinar. If that person cannot afford the, the other rest of the seats, then they're broke. They just want money from you. I know, I know. Right now, you're probably very uncomfortable with this, with this show right now or this thing. You know, you're probably uncomfortable or very, very angry because I know you've been taken for a ride. You've been taken for thousands of dollars and you've got nothing to show for it. I know that. You know, and because you're so uncomfortable right now, you're probably just going to, you know, delete this or hate on me or just be, you know, just go away and never want to hear from me again. But, you know, or would you rather have somebody sugarcoat this um, for you and not tell you the truth? Huh? So if you are looking for somebody who will sugarcoat these things for you just so that, you know, you'll be OK. Oh, well, you can go. I wish you well. But maybe you're really, really excited right now and you're energized and you, you now really want to start creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And you know, you've been through all of this. You are tired of being 
tired and, and sick and tired of, of people that are, uh, are just showing up and not, um, you, know, you know, doing good by yourself. You know you can do it. And because right now you, you, the bulb has just gone off and you've realized, okay, I've got so much time left on my hands. How can I actually start building the real business? And if that's you, I cannot wait to help you, my friend. I can't seriously wait to help you because I know you are going to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I know you're going to make so much money with less struggle. All right. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching this video today. I just thought I would honor Louise Hay for leaving the legacy that she has from 1926 to the year 2017. We are going to move on your mission, uh, Miss Louise. And I wanted to let everybody else know that you've got nothing but time. You might as well start being good, doing good, and actually contributing to the greater good of humanity. In the meantime, let's continue this conversation in the bottom. And I really want you to succeed. See you at the, uh, see you at the, at the, to at the top, guys.